What's going on? Tyler Royke here, and I'm at a conference right now. We're about to go interview some of my partners in real life. So I'm here with Mark Anthony, my guy out of Houston, Texas. Yes, we're running up the real estate market, covering the whole area, and we're actually gonna walk because we're about to go get the Lord's Chicken. But Mark, I gotta know, the people gotta know watching, man, why do you cold call so many people? because that's the only way to get the deals. To get the deals, we gotta make <laughs> deals happen, so. We, we, we gotta attack the market. That's why we cold call. That's why we prospect. <laughs> and, but on a serious note, man, how is it going? Cause like the reason I ask you is, I know based on the questions you ask me, cause you're hopping on the sales masterminds I host, you're, you're absorbing the material, you're asking the questions and you're building your dialogue. And I know you're hitting the phones, man. And so, um, what's the progression been like? Uh, it's been good. I've, it's it, it, pretty much a week doesn't go by without me being able to set an appointment. Whereas before, uh, it'd be maybe two, three weeks and no appointment set, uh, getting hung up on, uh, getting cursed out, um, you know, getting the, uh, <laughs> getting the smart uh, prospect saying, hey, uh, you know, of course you want to represent me uh, because everyone does, you know, but you just gotta, you know, you wipe it off, you dust your shoulders off and you just get right back to it because the only way to get to where you're going is by pushing forward. So we're gonna keep pushing forward and uh, we're actually about to go uh, eat right now. So let's continue the conversation. We're gonna hop in the, the Porsche. It's a little blurry, but uh, yeah. If you can go back more, you can go back more. This is good. I just feel like when it comes to that, you just really gotta not have your emotions involved because if I like went off of how I felt, bro, I would probably never freaking call or do any kind of prospecting, but like that's not gonna add. The consequence of me doing that is my life staying the same and that's not an option for me, so. <laughs> so yeah, that, I dude, just do it. <laughs> that's, that's a heavy cost right there, man. And not a lot of people talk about that. You're like, I don't, I don't hear a lot of people say like, yeah, the cost of, of not doing the work is too great. Usually it's like some excuse on, on why the work's not being done. But you're saying, no, the cost is too great if I don't do this. Well, yeah, and it's like, you know, this is the vehicle that I've decided to like change my life. But if I don't drive it, how can I be mad if nothing happens, you know? So I just, I, I'm just taking more accountability and responsibility and being more disciplined. I'm, I'm listening to what our top producer guys are saying and really taking that to heart because this is something that I really want. This is something that I see can be achieved and I'm not going to allow somebody who doesn't even know me tell me something that's rude or inconsiderate and let that like throw me off because they don't even know me. I don't know them. So why, why would I take that to heart? You know? Yeah. No, <laughs> Just my random thoughts. <laughs> that's real. That's real. That's good random thoughts though. I, I suppose. Man, this is a cool life. <laughs> you look good in HD, man. Thanks. Look Are you good. talking to me or talking? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you don't look good in HD, but I appreciate the you, camera, bro. It's coming through good. Yeah, but I, I do think that the uh, the sales training really does help if you really do take to heart what's being said. And I just love how like people are able to like contribute like every single week and like share what's going on. And like, I'm to the point to where I wanna be so good to where I can always contribute and I have something good to report on at least on a weekly basis. You know, I know Josh was saying that he wants us to like bring some deals in the next next meeting, like two weeks from now, I believe if I'm not mistaken. And I think I may have something for him too already. That was off of a cold call. Actually off of an appointment that I made and the guy wants me to hit him back at the beginning of august so he's a he's a pastor so he also let me know he was like hey like you know i'd love to keep in touch with you because i do get access to a lot of distressed properties he's like you know i like pretty much hear about it before the banks do um so you know if if we can stay in contact I, you know if you can find me a buyer on this or get it wholesaled for me or something then we can make it work he feels like he put he overpaid for it put way too much work into the house 
and now he's just trying to get like I guess extract what he put in and not take like a complete loss oh that so, sounds like the kind of deals we were just talking about yeah 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 and I and I think the property is like less than 200 grand it's like in a hood area but he said he was getting like over 1600 a month in rent so oh wow <laughs> yep so you know just but making conversations happen with people like that's the <clears throat> biggest key right because you know I, I think a lot of the time it's like you're, you got one of two possibilities either you're going to be making the calls having the conversations or you're going to have it in your head like I need to do this and the day goes by and you don't do it and days and days go by and then you know conversations aren't had and then you're, you don't have the business you want and what it you know what you want it to look like yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest like I felt like for me what kind of made the calling and just doing the work a little easier was just taking the first step because I would be like, oh my God, I gotta like have so many hours of this done and I'd just be overwhelmed in my head. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna get rejected like a thousand times here. Just totally wrong mindset, right? And now it's like, I, you know, I spoke to Ian, he's like, write a to-do list the night before, started implementing that. So my subconscious can kind of marinate on what I gotta do. I shift my mindset on like how it's gonna go. I envision it going well. And then I just, I start my timer and I don't even, I just hit the dial and I don't even, I don't even give myself enough time to think, do I really want to make this call? I just make it. And once that phone's ringing now, I, now I'm going to swim. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to figure it out on the fly. So yeah, no talking yourself out of it. Just yeah. It just, just do it. Phone ring. Yeah. So yeah, I know I've, I've heard some people say it's like if you spend an hour a day on a task every single day, you're going to be leagues ahead of someone just because not most, most people aren't like dedicated, disciplined enough to actually do that an hour a day, day in, day out yeah. all the time. So yeah, yeah that, that's what uh, lending tip says an hour a day. Um, actually that might, might've came from answers, but like an hour a day is like how you start to build the the right habits yeah you know, it's just you, you don't got to change your whole freaking day you just got to change one thing you do every single day yeah and, and build it up and compound it true and even so like levi lastic today in his presentation he was saying like uh, he had people stand up he's like all right who here has marketed towards a physical property and then like all these people stood up and then he's like all right out of all of you standing up how many of you have read 10 books on Fisbo marketing and everybody sat down right and that was just to prove his points like there's so many opportunities for anyone to learn any niche like group of real estate um, just because there's not a I mean there's people that are really good at various areas and they like absolutely kill it and crush it but there's not a master of one area true you know, yeah. become, become the very best at it tons of opportunity <coughs> to do that yeah there and, it is and, and I think it's a really good idea too to uh you know, I guess in the evening time when like, I guess you're not going to be prospecting, like that's when you want to like brush up on your education and like becoming a specialist at what you're trying to do, you know? Yeah. Do it at night. Not, uh, not, not while, during the day. <laughs> not while you're on the hours, like right. productive time. No productive time needs to be spent in a productive way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've gotten to that point where I usually... If, if there's like something I need to do with like contracts or something, if it if it's something that can wait till that evening when I can't like call people or do money making activities, that's when it happens. Right. Right. Versus doing it at two in the afternoon when it's prime like time I can call anybody really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we it's, did it. We made it. We, we are it. at Chick Fil A, so we're about to feast on the Lord's chicken. So. uh yeah, we'll, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna end it there. But that, Mark, thank you for uh, for sharing. Uh, yes, Lord. And, I mean, <laughs> that's how I sound when I say it on the chat. That's what it sounds like. Yes, Lord. <laughs> that's how I want you guys to hear it. And and, and uh, <laughs> to be clear, I'm I'm pretty sure he's not talking to me. I mean, I think. <laughs> I mean, finger to the sky. Finger to the sky. But uh, yeah, so uh, I mean, bottom line is uh, make the calls. The calls aren't going to make themselves. And if they don't make themselves, days are going to go by and you're not going to get to where you need and want to go in life. So hopefully that insight helped. Mark is out here making it happen in Houston, Texas, my man. Making it happen. And we are going and growing. Call after call, contact yeah. after contact. You go through all the lists. 
and you find the people that you're here to help. So yep. you can do that too. Go and implement it and I'll see you on the next video. Dude, I feel like that was a freaking banger. And that was so like just off the, off the uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good blooper, man. That was a banger. <laughs>